Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions. Today I'm going to take you through an installation on a Windows machine. At, I am using Windows 7 for this installation. Inside your downloaded folder, you are going to find a folder with your action files. The action files are ATN, PNG, and some of them, or most of them now, contain uh, XML files as well. Each different system, Windows 7, Vista, and XP will each have a different installation path, so please check the included how to install guide with your download before you start to make sure you're following the right path. Uh, as I said, we're going to show you today on Windows 7, and they're, they're pretty similar, but make sure you're looking at the right one. And so to install the actions on uh, Windows 7, we're going to start at our start menu down here, and we're going to click on computer. And when our hard drive comes up, usually it's a C colon drive, we're gonna hit our C drive there. And we're looking for program data. And this is one of the first uh, hiccups that people usually have when they are having a problem installing their actions is they don't see program data. Program files is not the same thing as program data. And so if you don't see program data in there, we're gonna need to go back down to the start menu here. And we're going to click right here where this little search bar is. We're going to enter folder options until this pops up. It's going to search for that and click folder options. And we're going to click on the view tab here and go down here and it says hidden files and folders. And we need to select show hidden files, folders, and drives and click apply. And then click OK. And then we're going to go back to where we were before in our installation path. And now you see we have program data there. And that's where we're needing to go. So I'm going to open that up. And inside program data, we want to find Adobe. And then we're going to go to Photoshop Elements. And whatever your version number will be here, I'm using version 9. And Photo Creations. and you want the photo effects folder here. And this is where your ATN, PNG, and XML files, your action files will go. You don't want to place anything else in here. And so now we're going to go to where our actions are saved. Downloaded from the internet, wherever your browser saves them is where you're going to want to go. Many machines will unzip them automatically for you. Some machines will not, and you will have to use something like WinZip. Or m Most machines are um, pre-installed with some kind of unzipping software where you can just double-click on it, and it will uncompress or unzip the file. If you do not have zipping software, one that's uh, rated really high is called 7-Zip. And I'm going to go ahead and find the, the action files to where my uh, browser saved them. Uh, most of the time they end up in your downloads folder, so you can check there if you don't know exactly where they are. And uh, here's, I just put a few actions in here for, just, for the demonstration. And I'm going to just select all of these files. These are the ATN and the XML and the PNG files. And I'm going to select those and I'm going to hit copy. And then I'm going to go back to the photo effects folder that we just found. And I'm going to paste those in there. And that's it's as simple as that for installing the action files. Now there's one more thing you need to do. And that is to either rename or delete a file called Media Database DB3 file. And I will show you exactly where that is. We're going to go back. I'm just going to hit the back button from where my photo effects folder is until until we see the locale and ENUS. If you're in the US, it is called that. And this is our media database file here. Um, most of the time, I just delete it. If you want to be extra safe, you can just add something to the end of it. doesn't matter what, as long as it's named something different. And um, you can just add old to the end. And when elements starts back at, it is going to be forced to recreate that file for you. 
And so that is it. That's as simple as it is. And we're going to start elements back up now. And when it starts up, it's going to need to rebuild the database. And so you see here, uh, it tells me that Elements is building the contents and effects. And it's very important that we don't interrupt it while it's doing this. Uh, otherwise, it will, it will appear that all of your actions have disappeared when um, actually it just got interrupted with that database file. So if that happens and you start it up, and it, it can even appear to be um, unresponsive, the, the little message can pop off there and it can still not be finished yet. So I just wait until that message is gone and I see my, all my actions popping up in the little effects palette to the right there. And so we're going to let that go. And it can take quite a long time. Sometimes it can take up to 20 minutes. Uh, that's an extreme case, but you just very important to leave it alone while it's doing that. So after it finishes building contents and effects and you are sure it's completed, which at the point it's completed, you'll look over to your effects palette and see all of the actions thumbnails pop up over there. Click on this little icon here, the photo effects, and it has a little sparkles around it, third one over. And next to that, you're going to have a little drop down menu. You can click on that and all of the action sets will be in there. Uh, if you have an action set that does not have XML files. Most of ours do. There are a few that do not yet. We are going to be sending updates out. Uh, I just finished creating them for the rest of the shop, and so I'm going to be sending those out to everybody as a free update. Um, but if you do not have XML files for the actions, you can click Show All, and they will show up um, all together down there. The action sets that do have XML files, you just select from the drop-down menu here and just view that set by itself. If you don't see anything here yet, you can click over on this first button underneath Effects, that is the Filters button. Click on that and then come back to the third icon over with little sparkles and they should be showing up there for you. And that is it. I'm going to have a separate video for troubleshooting. There are a couple things to watch out for when installing. And please be sure to also take a look at the How to Install Guide included with your download. We also have a wealth of information on our YouTube channel with videos showing you how to use your layer masks and other tips and tricks uh, showing basic edits and a lot of different good information on there to be found. And also make sure to check the PDF files that came with your download. Thank you for listening. Enjoy your actions and have a great day.